one, one of the things with regard to my childhood on the farm was at the, the fact that uh, I guess it would be the government of Canada uh, asked that people collect bones, dried animal bones, and aluminum. So we used to scurry about the countryside collecting these bones because there had been a lot of antelope, um, antelope and I'm not sure about buffalo in, in the area, but the bones being a, the dry country that it was, the bones quite well preserved. So these bones and any aluminum that we could possibly um, recover from old cars that had been and machinery that had been left in the ditches. We would gather up and I guess our dad would take them into the elevator which was the collection area for this process and these uh, bones and aluminum they went to I, I would think to the Toronto area to a munitions factory because they were gathering up everything possible that they could turn into munitions, so it must have been quite a successful program. And at the same time, we were on rations, but very small because we grew everything that we ate. But we were rationed to sugar, and we were given stamps. And I guess when you went into the local town, Mr. Smith's grocery, you they had to give a stamp and then you were allowed so much sugar because they were con sugar of course was much was going towards the munitions uh, end of things and uh, so i don't remember too much about that but i remember mother being very careful that we all had our own share and uh, we ha had six jars of sugar on the counter and we would have competitions as to who could eat less, not more, but less. And at the same time, I was thinking that some of the older farm boys in the area joined the services. There were quite a number of them, as a matter of fact. And um, all of them, as I recall, came back safely and settled back in on the farms. And at that point, they were a few years older, so wanted their own homes, and they were assisted by the Department of Veterans Affairs to buy land and, and settle at that time.